Hello! Welcome back everyone, I'm Rolly, and this is the next part of my Grandia 2 playthrough. So last episode, uh, we started venturing across the St. Himes um, mountains or whatever, and uh, we got a few heart-to-hearts, like we camped out a couple of times, so we got some conversations, and everyone's kind of wondering about like, millennia, and the darkness, and blah blah blah, you know, so, uh, nothing really, I, I, I don't... I think there was like anything too deep or whatever but uh there was one thing where merrick is talking and i kind of didn't actually i didn't actually talk about that but merrick is saying that millennia smells different to malthus uh so we don't really know anything about malthus right malthus being ryudo's brother uh so we don't really know how that like plays into anything um but, yeah, so anyways, uh, I kind of wanted to point that out. And yeah, so here we are. Uh, we just had camped, and then Roan and Merrick wanted to give uh, Elena and Ryudo uh, some alone time. But it, it, to me, that feel, felt like a little forced, because we haven't written, really gotten... Like, with Millennia being thrown in, in the... In the, like, you know, it's like a love triangle, almost, right? Between the three, uh, in a weird way. Uh, it just seems kind of like a little weird because Millennia is always there, like I said before, during the really important parts, right? She's the one that kind of takes care of the parts of Valmar and stuff like that. Uh, and then Elena's just kind of like, oh, uh, yeah, okay, it's day now, I'm here, or whatever, you know? It's like the next morning and I'm here now. And it's just like, okay, like, it, it just seems a little, it seems a little off, but uh, it doesn't matter. So... Anyways, here we are. Uh, we're gonna get to. We're gonna get to the. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're gonna get to the cathedral today. I think. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Because we're halfway. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> All right. Go do your thing, everyone. <laughs> see, I don't know if the play fair is actually really good or not. Um. So I'm just gonna use techniques and uh, different, different things. This Yeti look weird, don't they? They have like differently colored abs. Do you see that? They're like rainbow colored abs. Go Merrick! Yeah! Dude, I love... Beast King Blast. It's, it's so good. Nothing withstands my blade. Myriad Power Knot. Alright. Ooh, Ryudo leveled up. Great. Get some money here. <clears throat> Ooh. Okay, so there's a weapon for a weapon for Merrick in there. <clears throat> but we can't go in it because there's water. So let's see if we can find a way to stop that water. We'll probably have to, like, move a rock or something to block it, I'm guessing. Something like that. How about, How about this? this? Oh, I knew he was going to say that. How did I know that? I have no idea. I'm psychic, yo. <clears throat> Doesn't do that much. Oh, my God. I don't know why that did that. Ooh, and we can use Tremor with her. Now burn to a crisp. Wait, is that who I targeted? I, t I thought I targeted one in the middle. Great. That's really annoying because I'm gonna get kill three out of four. Please release your fury, Earth. All right. Like I said, you know, these these monsters are so easy to defeat, and then that boss was, like, really tough. So, that's that's also very JRPG-ish, I feel like, in a sense. Oh, yeah, so we have to move the block. Does that let us go inside the thing, too? Or is that like a... T oh, no, okay, the water just sits down here so we can't actually go in it. Okay. We get the Dragon Slayer Axe. Ooh. Let's see. We haven't gotten a new weapon for Merrick in a while. Like, found at least. Effective on reptiles. Awesome. <clears throat> That's fantastic. So we went there. Ooh. 
Holy wound cell. <clears throat> Those are not reptiles, but that's okay. Oh, what is that guy? Do you guys see that guy jumping up? Boom. Don't move. Stay where you are. Boom. Yeah. Hardly worthy of my notice. All right, that was pretty good. Ah, uh, God, and I, I'm so sorry, guys. I have to keep looking at. I, I feel really bad, but um, I need to see. He has quake. He has earth and explosion. Earth and explosion. Fire and lightning. He, so he has earth. Okay, got it. All right. I keep forgetting who has what equipped, so I don't know which attacks. Ooh, look at this. We're going into the waterfall area again, but again, a different area. I love how it's like very intertwined. Hello. We got the little shrimp. What were they called again? I forgot what they were called. <clears throat> I forgot what they're called. They fry up these. Oh, they're crabs. Well, they look like shrimp to me. It looks like some kind of crustacean, I guess. I don't like the tunnel one, okay? I like the ones with the circle. Now, it hits everyone. Yay! Nice and deliciously grilled shrimp. Mmm. Dead. Everyone's dead. Got it. Awesome. Good job, bro. Oh, that was a breeze. Hey, and they both leveled up. Awesome. Uh, what are we doing here? Oh, hello. Look at the little vista we get. Beautiful. I mean, for old graphics, you know, whatever. Does anything happen, or...? Literally nothing happens, guys. We just look at these waterfalls. That's so random. Oh, remember that, guys? So if you miss that, you come over here and you're like, wait, how do I get that? And you have to go all the way back. That was like a while ago since we got that, I feel like. <clears throat> I don't know why they showed us the waterfalls like that. I'm like, all right, cool. I don't shy away from a fight. Let's do it. How about this? How about this? Go. Ah. They kind of moved a little bit apart, which sucks. So I don't know if I... Ah, I can still hit him. Yeah. Kill him. Tremor. Yes. Look at that. I don't know. I don't... What, another thing that I don't know about this game is this, the skills. We just looked at these. Um, I feel like I'm so far away. Okay, now I'm a little too close. <laughs> um, I don't know how I get more more skills unlocked. Is it per level? I'm not sure. Like, you know, is it like every five levels, every ten levels? Ooh, look, we have some reptiles. <clears throat> Uh, we'll do burnt flame. Nice, deliciously cooked. We'll do a howl. You cannot get away with that. Oh, can that defeat Spiral them? Wind, tear them up. Let's see if that can defeat them. Yep, nice. Perfect teamwork. These guys were no real challenge. We're getting a lot of coins here, guys. So once we get to like a new oh we gotta be careful. Ah uh, uh, oh Merrick got hit. Oh, run run run. Ah no! <laughs> I was like, I can just run through. Nope, I can't. That will tell you everything you need to know about me. I'm just like, ah it's fine, let's just go. And then it's not the answer. How about this? Whee! 
So, the, how about this? Remember how I said last episode? I think it was last episode, wasn't it? Where I said, like, oh, doesn't another character say that? Now, burn to a crisp! Isn't there, in, it's either in Pokemon Stadium 1 or 2, where the announcer, once in a while, when you use an attack, I think, I think he says that. How about this? Doesn't he say that at some point? When someone, like, uses oh, some kind of uh, attack in that game? I, I feel like I remember that being the case. And we get more money. Alright, Coolio. Ooh, we get some more. We get a little bit more of a foresty area now, so. Uh, but I do want to kill everyone. I just want to get all the coins in the world. Who rubbed the bird on the mountain? Grant me power! I just want to get all the coins so I can level up everything and show you guys everything. Now, burn to a crisp! I don't think anyone's going to live through that because they're, they're uh, susceptible to fire damage, so that's going to do a crap ton of damage to them. Yeah, look at that. A breeze. Yes, it was. Indeed, it was. Ooh. Okay. We have a gate. We have a giant gate. Seed of spells? Is that a, um... Ooh. Maximum MP. Okay, that's a Ron. Uh, and we have another seed of life. I'll go to Elena. Uh, I'm just trying to... So that's a big white gate. That's interesting. And then he's kind of finished them off. It doesn't matter. They're all going to get hit. See, these battles... So I guess doing the AI isn't the smartest thing because the AI isn't smart enough to use... Uh, you know, the, the positioning, as well as the weaknesses, you know, they just, like, use whatever. That's the early days of, of gaming. I, I'm not early days of gaming. It's just, I mean, whoa, we got two accessories. Two Mirage earrings. Okay, I don't know what they do. That's interesting. Um, but yeah, that's, I guess, when, you know... Not Mirage earrings. Observation... By 15%? Whoa. I think I'm gonna give her that. Evasion. What does the Mobius Ring do? Oh. Uh, I think I'm gonna do the Mirage as well. That's really good. 15% evasion rating? That's really good. Okay, so we're not going through the giant gate, I guess. I thought we would be going through here, but I guess we're not. Alright, well, we'll go in this way. Alright. <laughs> and we're going to the Popple State. St. Heim Popple State. Here we are, guys. Finally, we've made it. Only took us a year and a half. We made it! We're finally here! Before you lies the splendor of the St. Heim Popple State, dedicated in honor of the glory and majesty of our great Lord Granis. Cute. This is where the cathedral is? Yes, it is so. Uh, but what business have you at the cathedral? I'm a sister in the service of Lord Granis. My name is Elena. Father Carries of Carbo in the Black Forest instructed me to come and call upon His Holiness Pope Zera. Well, that must have been quite a journey, so you wish to meet His Holiness Zera? I must make a report regarding the ceremony of sealing. Well then, let me lead you to the cathedral. Um, well... I would rather not today. I shall go there directly tomorrow. As you wish, I shall inform His Holiness. <clears throat> and so the mighty warriors come to the end of their lengthy, needlessly complicated journey. You did good, kid. Must be tired. Ryudo, what will you do and the what will you and the others do now? I'm still a little concerned about my brother, but I have no idea where he might be. Fate has seen fit to bind brother to brother. I would stay on with you, for Destiny's work is not yet complete. I would like to stay with you too, but I'm also interested in the stories told by the Church of Granis, so I'd like to stay here a while. Not a problem, not like I have anywhere else to be, but Elena, you sure you don't want to take care of your business today? It is an audience with His Holiness Zera, so I want to be neat before I go. 
Okay, let's spend the night let's spend the night here and rest our feet. Or for some of us, our rat stained claws. Jesus. Yes, let's do. I'm hungry as well. Yes, you're right. Alright, so we're gonna spend the night here. Um let's look at the general store. Let's see what they have. They probably have like good stuff. Oh, again, I, I do that sometimes where I, I can't look at the recording. Whoa! What is that? There's a little creature. Did you see him? Did you see him? He was like, Wah! and then he ran under the table. I don't know what that was. Um, ooh, the sister staff can cast cure. Claymore. Armor. <clears throat> uh, regional butter roll. Fresh sandwich. Mogay bomb. Holy ash. Good versus undead. Item, scroll of all heal, move blessing, releases move, oh, okay. Uh, jewelry, healing ring, heal. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. I want to kind of buy one of these. I want to see what this healing ring does. I'm just going to buy one. Because I just want to see what that does. Alright, well, let's buy some, uh, let's buy some equipment. Because, uh, I don't... Yeah, this is, like, much stronger, so... <clears throat> Alright. Ooh, spent a lot of money already there. Uh, wow, that's so much better for her. Holy crap. Maybe I'm not gonna give him that sister's hat. Why would he be wearing a sister's hat? That's kind of strange. Uh, that's only two increase. I want to see what the heavy boots negate. Negate knockback. Um, this is really good for Merrick. Alright, that's it. The other stuff isn't that great. It doesn't give me huge amounts of increase and stuff. It's like a little like rat thing. It has like a rat tail. It looks like a sheep with a rat tail. Let's go back out. I go back and I want to see what that thing is. Alright, let's get, be, go, go really quietly. There it is. Yeah, it's like a, like a rat sheep with horns. Like a... Me! It's really cute, though. I love it. Alright, we got another little mascot -y thing. Alright, let's sleep. I'm not selling anything. Uh, I'll sell my stuff next time, I guess. Alright, let's recover. Let's save, and then... Spend the night, we'll probably get another dinner conversation. We're getting them, like, shoved down our throats at this point. Alright, welcome. Spend the night. Spend the night here. Oh, yeah, I love that. Alright. I wish to thank you all for everything you have done for me. Hey, you did your fair share, too. It has been quite a pleasure, and quite an adventure as well. Much remains to be done with all. Uh, the wise man still tends to the fire, though it burns brightly. Thank you so much. I just do not know how to thank you enough, my friends. It's my job. Don't mention it. Don't say that, Ryudo. Excuse me. Miss Elena, come to the cathedral, cathedral right now. His Holiness Zara is overjoyed by the news of your arrival. R right now? I, 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 in the middle of dinner? I'm not yet ready. Can this not wait? We shall bring your things later. His Holiness Zara is looking forward to having dinner with you. Please, do not make him wait. Uh, no, I must not do that. Everyone. R R Ryudo. Don't spoil the moment, kid. By now, you know what to do. Good luck. Miss Elena, please take care. Your kindness is indeed a rare treasure, Elena. Thank you all for everything you have done. I will not forget you. Aw, very sweet. And Elena moves on, so she's going to meet the Pope now. Miss Elena, she's gone. She is, and now we turn to other matter matters. Well, our job here is finished. Yeah, the job's done, but I'm feeling 
A little sad about the whole thing. Go figure. All right. Oh, look, guys. I can see it. The day of darkness is near. Valmar's moon, too. Its vile shadow is growing ever stronger. Valmar is certainly attempting to revive. You must understand this. Listen, Elena, your mission is important. Not just for you, but for the world. The darkness must be resealed, and doing this will require all your effort, the power of Lord Granis and the Divine Sword, the Grana Saber. You must find it, no matter what. Fail, and the world is doomed. I understand. You must succeed in order to remove the darkness within you as well. You must prevail. I understand. I will not let you down. So that was the Pope. Never been one for goodbyes or hellos. Can't help but feel a, little, a bit sad when someone like her leaves. Yes, uh, were Miss Elena with us, we would be able to see the inside of the cathedral. I presume it interests you. Yes, Miss Elena often spoke of the confrontation between light and darkness, but I don't quite, I don't quite understand at all. Light, darkness, Granis, Valmar, can't tell them apart. As well, I am not versed in matters of religion. So, we might just find out something there. Mr. Riedo, I presume? What is this? I'm busy. Didn't your church drill some matters into you? Or did you just drill... <laughs> or did it just drill through your head? Jesus. I apologize for my rudeness, Riedo. The Pope has called for you. Please come to the cathedral right away. Look, I realize word of my amazing singing voice has spread everywhere, but I'm not interested. His Holiness there has a special request. Ah, please bring your companions as well. Also, I beg my leave. We didn't even say yes. The Pope has a special request. Sounds like the first line of a really bad joke. What kind of person is His Holiness Zara? I understand he's said to be the sage who will save the world. Which isn't nearly as impressive as the, save, <laughs> the sage who will save his breath. This better be quick. Oh my, Ryudo. You know how he is. He doesn't like this whole religious thing. And he thought he was done with it after Elena. And now they're like, no, actually, we want you to come and hang out. Oh, we have a bakery here. Let's check out the bakery. Ooh, I love bakeries. Good. Oh, there's another one of those. Good morning, everyone. My, you've got all uh, got such happy faces today. That's sure to make Lord Granis glad too. Just look at the smile on you, young man. My, you look as happy as a puppy dog. It's written all over your face. What are you talking about? If you think calling me a puppy dog will help you, uh, help you to meet Elena, you're barking up the wrong tree. Come on now, Ryudo. Nobody said anything about about Elena, did they? Yeah. Why did you bring up Elena? That's kind of weird. He must miss her. Oh, so dearly. Hello, little girl. Lord Granis will always protect this country. That's why the Day of Darkness will not be scary for us. What happens if Lord Granis is not paying attention? Or if he's asleep? What then? Will, uh, will you be afraid? What? You mean Lord Granis sleeps too? Well, I, I don't know what I'd do. Yeah, girl. Think for yourself about that. Uh, house 2 downstairs. Okay. What is this? Oh, they have a library. Oh, that's pretty cool. Hello. Welcome to the library. Here you may read the Holy Light and the Light of Lord Granis. Each is divided into several volumes, so if you wish to read them in order, start from the left side of the shelf. Okay. Book one. Know that long ago all lived in the light. All, uh, all knew the love of Granis. The earth was bountiful and the people's hearts were glad. And so did Valmar find the world. The taint of darkness spread across the land and the heart of man was despoiled of its innocence. Light and darkness moved to battle by fate ordained. Men to prepare, uh, men too prepared for war. Their numbers divided between light and darkness, and so began the battle of good and evil, fought without ceasing upon the fields of eternity, day yielding not to night. The dead had long ceased to be counted when, at length, Granis and Valmar fixed their eyes upon each other. Better to make an end. What did Mary write this? Its formal title is the Holy Light. Quite an inflated title for a dumbed-down version of the original scripture. This was meant to be uh, read by us common folks, right? Yes, that is right. Have you read it before? Why the hell would I do that? Anyway, I've heard it all before, though not exactly in this form. Okay. Book 2. The uh, darkness fell before the light. 
the earth was split asunder, land sunk to sea, and sea vomited land as Valmar's spirit was sealed. A new moon was hung in the heavens. It is written that when the moon burns in remembrance, so misfortune will soon follow. Thus, it portends judgment of the righteous and is called Valmar's moon, for the shadow of the Dark One lies long and heavy. There is much to meditate on within these pages. I'll have to sleep on it, which shouldn't be a problem given the reading material. You should at least be familiar with everything you find boring or difficult to read. Chances are, they're all important. He speaks truly. You guys have been hanging out with Roan too much. <laughs> One important part here is Valmar's moon. So they associate the all of a sudden the second moon uh, is, is hanging in the sky, right? There was a regular moon and then there was a smaller red moon that's now all of a sudden in the sky. And uh, they associate that with Valmar because we and we have seen this happen when the uh, when it started when we were on the skyway and it started like glowing all of a sudden this disaster like everything kind of went like crazy or whatever and we ended up crashing with the with the gondola oh that book fell at the top did you see that that was cool um i, I was wondering if there's something we can interact with in here so uh, i didn't press anything it just happened all right so yeah velma's moon interesting book three the darkness stirred even as the seals were set anxious again to work upon the hearts of men so strong is its hatred of light and Grannis set a part of his uh, set a part of his spirit aside, fashioning a sun to restore the ruined land. And then, wounded, the light slept. Does not the light of the sun shine even now? Does not the land await the return of its true god? May the light come quickly. Does not Ryudo tire of this? Does not he want to put his fist through this book? May his suffering end quickly. <laughs> Which part of it bothers you? The part that says, whoopee for Granis, let's run about happily, trailing brightly colored ribbons from our hands. I guess that cannot be held, it is that kind of book, but it is sort of one-sided. So why don't we listen to the other side? I'm interested in what the followers of Darkness have to say. Have to be fair. You know, Ryuta's got a good point. You know, there's always two sides to every story, so, you know... So far, we've only really met followers of Grannis, right? And it's always been like Valmar has been put into this uh, bad light. But we, we've met parts of Valmar which have been very bad, right? So, but, but then again, we kind of have Millennia who's been trying to like kind of actually help us. And she's actually kind of a good, like she's good in her own way. They keep thinking that like, She's the one stealing the souls of, of like, Ira and Gadan. Like, she didn't do that. It just happened because they were, they had a piece of Valmar in them that devoured their soul. They had their soul devoured by these parts that she then absorbed. But there was nothing that she could do other than absorb those parts. Uh, so, again, she didn't really do anything bad, right? So, there's, like, two sides to every story. The Light of Lord Granis. Okay, so that was the whole, that was the end of that that first book or whatever um and uh yeah and it's kind of like happy go lucky and he's just like does ryudo not tire of this he's just being so sarcastic i love it um once upon a time people were in trouble there was nothing in the world and people kept fighting all the time one day a huge light appeared in the sky and began to shine on the earth the light blessed the earth and told the people to stop fighting the light was lord granis the people listened to lord granis and stopped fighting then the world became beautiful Trees grew everywhere, birds sang sweetly, and fish played in the blue seas. Seeds rode the winds, and flowers bloomed all over. The land became a true paradise. The people all praised Lord Grannis and lived happily. This is painful. How many young minds have been totally warped by this bogus story? You have to admit, this is quite a major work. I've never heard it. Which explains why your eyes aren't glazed over like everyone else's. What stories do they tell kids where you're from, Merrick? The sun also rises, and the sun also sets. The rivers run into the sea, and the sea is not full. The rain returns onto the heavens. Such is the manner in which our cycles begin. The legends are taught to the young, even as I was instructed while yet at youth. A, a, a youth. Tree grows, beaver eats tree, tree falls, beaver builds dam, more trees grow. I get it. So kind of like the circle of life. That's pretty much what they have been taught, right? It's just kind of like... You know, one animal eats another. I mean, they're they're not going as brutal, seeing like one animal eats another, and then it's just like a, a tree is grown from that, and then another animal eats that tree, or what you know, or flower, or plant, or whatever, right? And it's just kind of like 
but but it's still like kind of the circle of life, you know. And 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 Merrick is kind of putting it, putting the whole idea of like the the sun, right? They they keep saying that the sun, uh, the, you know, in these books, like Granis is, is like represented by the sun, you know. He's like, oh, he, you know, the sun shines upon the land because of Lord Granis, you know. He granted us his light, blah blah blah. But Merrick is like, well, the sun also sets every day, right? And we do get nighttime. It does happen every day. So there is not just like light the whole time. We have light for twelve hours and we have darkness for 12 hours so there's just like again two sides to everything and and the, you know in their belief system you know for the beastmen i guess they kind of they accept that they're just like that's how life is you know there's good and bad and that's just normal you know <clears throat> the light of lord granis chapter two but one day the sky suddenly grew cloudy the daytime became as dark as night and a he heavy rain began to fall a scary monster came to make traps to catch people who didn't take care of their hearts these people became monsters one after another, the monsters began to attack the people who were living happily. Lord Grana saw what the bad people were doing and lifted a giant sword to protect the good people from the monsters. Some people had run away when they saw the monsters, but they saw Lord Grana fighting. They came back to help. The battle lasted for a long time and the people who had become monsters did not live through it. To keep any more people from dying, Lord Grana decided to fight the king of the monsters, whose name was Valmar. Your people burden themselves with dread at, the, at a tender age. Your fear of demons and darkness must indeed be great. I wouldn't know. I've never seen a demon. What are you saying? You must speak. What are you talking about? Miss Millennia. Ah, right. But even if she is the Wings of Almar, she doesn't make much sense. She's not like the chumps in this story. And we have... I don't know why he's saying he hasn't... He hasn't seen... Was there more to read? Was it just not visible? Are these like... Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I was gonna say maybe there's like more behind... Like that we can't actually see. No, we read it. So, that's kind of weird because we have seen demons like the other pieces of MR, which are not millennia and they looked a little bit more freaky and stuff. Uh, but I will point out there was something that they talked about uh, when we dealt with Ira and stuff. You know, Ira, when she was possessed by the Eye, eye of Valmar, um, or the eyes of Elmar or whatever. Um, she was trying to make everyone happy. She wasn't trying to kill anyone. She wasn't trying to hurt anyone. She was trying to make them all happy. She brought them, you know, yes, she put them to sleep. Uh, but she was bringing them into the garden. You know, the garden of hope or garden of happiness. They, they had like multiple different names uh, of, for that place. Um, but she was bringing them there as fairies, right? And she was trying to make them like, uh, like happy and and kind of uh you know she was trying to make everyone not suffer anymore you know she, so her intention was good even though she was possessed by Val valmar so i will point that out um so yeah here we are i'm just kind of checking out the town all right let's move up here let's meet the pope guys let's meet the pope granis cathedral Ooh, look at this all right I'm impressed. That's a long stairway, guys, all the way up the mountain. Look at that. It's a massive cathedral at the top of like this mountain. Or like hill or whatever. Quite remarkable in its proportions. The thoughts of its uh, of its architects twist and vine almost palpably through the sculpted st stone. How beautiful! It must have taken forever to build. You must be Mr. Ryuto. His Holiness awaits in the audience chamber. All right, thanks, sister. All right, let's go, guys. Stop gawking. Move it. Oh my God, Ryuto! You were gawking too. Don't even lie. Alright, is that... is it through here? I, I don't know where the audience chamber is. I have no clue. Hello. Can you direct me, sir? Mr. Ido, please go inside. I'm sorry, but your companions must wait outside. Didn't he say my friends could come? He has important things to discuss with you, so... Oh, it's alright. I don't mind. I can wait. Can I at least wait somewhere interesting? Ah, our library is most interesting. There you will find many important books about the doctrine of our church. Mr. Ryuto, can I talk to you really quick? There might be some interesting information at the library. I will check it out. Clever boy. More clever than other low boys I know. Sky, that's weird to say. 
I know you're a bird, but that's just weird. Um, so may I lead you to to the library? Go, lead. <laughs> Jesus. Well then, Mr. Yudo, please go inside. You two, this way, please. This way. Yeah, you said this. Ryudo, we'll be waiting in the library. Alright. Yeah, I'll meet up with you later. So, Ron is being smart, right? He's just kind of like doing research. Uh, and we're just Ryudo. Just Ryudo. Let's go. The service is still in progress. Please, uh, please be quiet or something, I think he said. Uh, it skipped automatically. I didn't actually press anything. Ooh, look at that mural on the on the ceiling there. Very impressive, huh? It's Elena! this world light peace and harmony your holiness Zara, please calm our anxious hearts what can we do to rid the world of the terrifying darkness you must bolster your soul if you leave no chink in the armor of your soul then the darkness will be forced to leave please save us from Valmar you must not falter. We must all not give in to darkness. I cannot save you. You must save yourselves. Your Holiness Zara, please lend me your ears. Yes, what should we do? Oh, what will Zara, happen to the world? Quiet. We are here to bring peace to the world. How can one do so in a panic? Everyone, please calm down. Yet, Your Highness Zara, the recent rumors of the revival of Valma are not going away. I have even heard reports that the rumors might be true. Right, High Priestess Celine? At this rate, the day of darkness seems unavoidable. But we must not strike fear in the hearts of the people we are trying to save. Doing so would surely go against the will of Lord Granus. What do you say, Cardinal Oro? Oh, when the day of darkness comes, the world will most definitely be destroyed. Ah, I don't know what we can do. Celine, do not misunderstand me. I'm not saying that the action the Cathedral Knights took was wrong. But you went too far. You must not frighten the people away from Lord Granus. Yes, Your Holiness. You must all remain on guard, so that darkness cannot take advantage of you. Please, everyone, back to your rooms. Ah, Mr. Ido, please come. So, <clears throat> we kind of get introduced to uh, uh, His Holiness Sarah. It's kind of weird. Earlier when they when he was talking to Elena, they didn't show his name or his uh, picture at all, which was kind of strange because I'm like, he's like a major character. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so we get introduced to Zara and they're all kind of freaking out because, you know, the pieces of Valmar, the sea, as we have seen, three of the seals, was it three that we've seen so far? Because we have the we have the wings, the mouth, and the eyes, correct? So far that we've had. Um, so three seals have been broken. We don't know how many there are, uh, but obviously, you know, the, the rumors are spreading of Valmar kind of awakening, right? The different parts of Valmar are slowly awakening. So all the priests, the high priests, even the cardinal is freaking out. They're all freaking out. They're like, oh my God, the day of darkness is coming and we can't do anything. And Zara's like, you all must like calm down. We have to like bolster our soul. We have to like believe in Lord Granis and just like 
you know, chill out, right? And and like, you know, we're here to help guide the people so that they don't fall to darkness, right? So, <clears throat> yeah, and here we are. And then he even, interestingly, right, uh, so Celine, who kind of went too far, she, I mean, she burned down one village, as far as we know, and then she was also going to burn down Mirumo village, which we prevented her from doing, right? And Zara is kind of like, okay, Celine, you went too far, right? And she's like, okay, sorry, you know, so, um, yeah, so there we go. Oh. Okay, that was only like a couple minutes. Jesus, why did it turn off? Um, ah, Mr. Ito, please come. Nice speech. Please, accept my apologies. I did not mean to make you wait. What is he doing? Oh, he's grabbing his hand. Okay, it's kind of weird. I'm sorry for having called upon you on such short notice, but my request is not an ordinary one. Please, to the next room. Ooh, sorry, guys. I just, because I drank something. Elena. She doesn't say anything. We heard a little bit about what's going on, right? And I want to talk about I didn't touch on that because we're going to hear more from uh, from Zara now. So we'll, we'll have to, uh, the Pope's room. I thank you for what you have done on Elena's behalf, but now I have a special request to make. Before we get to that, tell me, what about Elena? Will she be alright? Ah, uh, you ask if the presence of Valmar can be driven from her. Sadly, I must tell you that is beyond even my power. However, if the Sword of Granis can be recovered, there may yet be hope for us all. This is why I have asked you here. Keep talking. I want you to find the Divine Sword, the Granis Saber. The sword which slew the Dark One must be returned to us if the light is to be restored to this world. You still haven't made an actual request, but I get the idea. Yes, Elena has told me much. Enough for me to know that you're the only one capable of contending with the darkness. Naturally, this request must appear absurd to you. However, as your reward, we shall give you whatsoever you request. Hmm, suddenly this conversation has become more interesting. However, when you depart, I wish for Elena to accompany you. Why bring her along? Are you sure you don't want to cast a few wards against Mile uh, Valmar instead? Unfortunately, we can do nothing more for Elena now. We would be unable to protect her from Valmar even if she were to remain here. She will be safer with you, Mr. Ryudo. You're right, your request is absurd. The pieces of Valmar struggle for dominance, each attempting to devour the others in order that the darkness will be restored. According to prophecy, once the pieces unite, the day of darkness will come upon us, and all mankind will be destroyed. So what do we do? Sharpen a pointy stick? Lord Granis has yet to recover from battle. Thus our world heads towards, uh, toward darkness, lacking the guiding hand of light. Were we to possess the Granis Saber, we would at least be able to bring back some of the light of Lord Granis. Then Elena can be saved and our world protected from the advent of the Day of Darkness. Any idea where the sword might be? Unfortunately, our ho holy book says only that it rests with the Legion of Darkness. I'm sorry, that's not vague enough for me. Could you be a little less specific? Ugh, I need some time to think it over. I will wait until tomorrow for your answer. I've prepared rooms for you, so please stay here tonight. Ah, but I see that I've tired you. Rest and return tomorrow. But please, consider my offer. I hope you will accept it. Let's talk to Elena. Elena, are you alright? Has something happened? Oh, do not worry about me. I just want you to think long and hard about Pope Zara's request. Okay. So he wants us to find the Grana Saber. Okay. Oh. Elena's following us. Elena, what's with you? Ryudo... Do as he asks, please. Not for me, but for everyone. The world. Okay. He's very short, right, with us. What could his holiness be thinking of? At this rate. Cardinal Aura. <clears throat> Ryudo, I believe, was your name. Just what did his holiness Zara tell you? Huh? He asked me to find some divine sword. 
I see. I question His Holiness's selection of his emissaries. I task uh, a task this great surely requires someone with more experience. Careful with your words, aren't you, old man? I'd be as careful with my judgment were I you. Experience I have, patience I don't. Insolence. Listen well, stripling. Stripling? Stripling, that's kind of weird. It is best you abandon your search, for it is not for a chur churlish whelp to find the Grana Saber. Tell you what I'll do. I'm going to ignore you, and then I'm going to stay uh, to leave. You just stay there. Stay, stay, good boy. Hmm. Hmm. Ashes. What could His Holiness Sarah be thinking? That fool, uh, fool boys. I don't know that word. In insuicence? In insuicence? Is that based on, like, insolence? Insuicence will be our ruin when the day of darkness comes. Ah, uh, whatever shall we do? I don't like Oro. Okay, he's a douche. But I love how Ryudo does not take any shit from anyone. He's just like, stay, stay, good boy. Oh, God, we have more cardinals here. You're the man who's going to search for the divine sword, aren't you? Well, I haven't quite made up my mind yet. Oh, but you must. You must find the divine sword for the entire world's sake. All right, we're done talking to these guys. They're all going to probably say the same thing. Oh, hello. Okay, okay. He was standing right there. So let's go this way. Uh, let's save. Guest room corridor. So they want us to find the Grana Saber. And we've heard of this, right? We have to find the Grana Saber to return, return, return some light of Granis, I guess is what Sarah is saying. But we don't know. We know that the, that the uh, sword was what fell to fell to the ground after the battle um, between Granis and Valmar. And we know that that's what caused the Grana Cliffs to appear. And that's why they're called the Grana Cliffs, because the Grana Saber split the earth, right? So uh, ahead lies Granis Cathedral famous library. You could search for the world and never find a library extensive as this. Your companions are in there. Please return the books you have read to their proper places. Yeah, sure thing. All right, in here? Yep. Let's go. Let's meet Ro- Oh, there they are. Hey, guys. Hmm. The script is unfamiliar to me. Wow, this is really interesting. Oh, Mr. Ryudo, what did he have to say? You mean when he was actually talking out of his mouth? Nothing that wasn't completely ridiculous. So he explains it all to them. So he wants you to find the Divine Sword in order to halt the Day of Darkness? A dubious undertaking. We walk unguided through shadows. The only clue is the words, the Divine Sword rests with the Legion of Darkness. You find anything else about that? No, not in this place. Anyway, Mr. Uh, anyway, Mr. Ryudo. Anyway, there's a period. That's why I'm like, I think he meant, he meant to say, anyway, Mr. Ryudo, you ought to read some of these books too. But there's a period in between there, so that was kind of weird. Uh, they have lots of details about Valmar and Granis, the Battle of Good and Evil, the Day of Darkness, and even the Divine Sword. Dinner awaits in the other room, and books do not spoil or grow cold without use. Yeah, he just wants food. So let's read a little bit. The holy book, uh, Know ye that long before the present age, man dwelled amidst the light, and that light was love, and man called the light granis. The earth was filled, blah, blah, blah. We already know all this. So it's a blah, blah, blah. Uh, man called, and man called the darkness Valmar, the tempter, devourer of souls, and there were those who named the darkness God. Uh, glutted in desire and lust. Okay, they were satisfied. Blah blah blah. I was just trying to see if there's more. The war was a fire consuming the earth, and the skies hung thick with fat and bone. This man, uh, this man called the battle of good and evil. A little different than what I'm used to hearing. This is the version that Elena and the other followers of Kranos read, so it is not the same as simplified account. There's a little more detail in this one. Yeah, it's a little bit more gory, right? It's like, ooh, okay. Holy Book Two. Misery uh, joined an, e uh, an equal rune for six days and seven nights, and on the seventh day, darkness and light sought a reckoning. The hand of light gripped its blade, great and terrible, and the cloak of darkness was at its shield. Thus were the uh, thus were they armed for war. They uh, truce struck the blade of light, and the darkness was cleaved and was not. Then the blade uh, 
pierce even the earth. Then the blade pierce even the earth. Okay. Uh, the seas boiled and were scabrous, and long the land wept. Even so was the earth riven, and its wound na man named the granite cliffs. Then did the light move to seal those parts of darkness that yet remained, for in its fall it did not remain whole. Those who had named the darkness God were in like fashion named the people of darkness, and they did hide their faces from heaven. Content in its work, the light blessed the earth, and all was made well. And then, wounded, the light fell in a heavy slumber. The light will burn in our hearts and will not expire. This men swore for the god of light shall return to claim the earth. And the sword of light, called the divine sword, came to rest with the legion of darkness in remembrance of their betrayal. And there was peace. The people of darkness. Something wrong, kid? You're pale. Uh, nothing, nothing at all. You sure about that? Okay. Roan reacted strange to the name the people of darkness. Yet after this, a new moon was hung in the heavens, its face uh, gazing balefully downward upon the earth. It was an ill omen, swollen heavy with foreboding and dread, and it was said that darkness yet had power. And again, the souls of men were sifted and tried by the darkness, as it sought to bring about the day of its return. This man, uh, this man called, I feel like there should be a period. This man called the day of darkness, right? I feel like, I don't know, whatever. But, because it's, it's like, whatever. Anyways, it just doesn't, this man called, you know, like when you read it like that, it sounds weird. For the light will depart and the dead shall rise to the throne of judgment. Know ye that this is the last judgment when all will be weighed and found lacking and all brought to ruin. The words of man will be brought low. The darkness will set it not, all man's labors, in preparation for its terrible rebirth. Know, my brethren, that Valmar is yet at the door. Gird yourselves with light, for our purpose is one. This must not come to pass. Hmm, the moon's creation in particular interests me, for I have not before heard the tale told as such. What do, you, what do your people say about it? We do not ponder the making of each grain of sand. They have ever been so, as the setting of the sun and the rising of the moon. What about Granis and Valmar? You think they had something to do with it? My eyes did not see them so. Let others believe as they wish to, but I know the truth behind this. So he's saying that Granis and Valmar had nothing to do with the moon, with the second moon rising. So there you go. Uh, okay, golden dawn age. Neither darkness nor light split the heavens, but suffering pain. The groaning of the earth, the wailing of men, huddled and fearing the storm's wrath, the violence of nature. Living in blindness, tooth and seal gnashing the air, life spent in desperation. Turning in the gyre, an endless throb of misery, and then an uneasy sleep. Life slipping, passing without note, the names of the dead unused, unremembered. Great, now I'm depressed and bored. Maybe it gets better. <laughs> okay. Maybe it does. Silvery white light H. The light descended then, and the chaos was bound. The rivers of blood were damned. Their eyes were opened. This is the light. Uh, this the light did. No longer did man war with his brother. This was paradise. The light of peace is Granis, the god whose praises we sing. Yet there were those who hated the light, who turned their eyes from its measure, uh, measureless love. The light fell upon their backs, casting long shadows on the earth. Darkness was birthed. Valmar, apparently. Yes, these are the holy annals of the ages of the gods. They describe the battle between Granis and Valmar in an annoyingly roundabout fashion. The holy book of Granis is said to have been based on this text. There is more. Let us keep reading. All right. Red Twilight Age. Those who follow light warred against those called demons, who likewise named them ga Gowlers? G Jailers. Yeah, Jailers. Because that's like the, the weird... Uh, What's the word for that when there's like a different, like an old age name, I guess, for, for jail? That's jailers. For six days and nights, the earth was torn and turned to coals. Then came the seventh day. The light drew its sword, great and terrible, darkness, we already all know this. A day of fire, lightning, uh, until each had run the other through. The light of darkness pierced the earth, raising the voice, blah, blah, blah. We all know this. We've heard this three times uh, this episode. And the depths of earth... Uh, into the depths of earth, then did a new moon rise. Fear struck those who followed light, still they wait. Yeah, okay. So we, we don't really know the details. I can't read this anymore. It's boring, it's stupid, and it's badly written. And what the hell is a jailer? One who would imprison another. Yeah, so it's like a different word for like an actual jailer. An interesting choice of words to describe those who followed Granis. I don't understand how you can read this stuff, kid. 
Well, I have liked reading these books ever since I was little. And this is a book. Oh, chapter 4, Black Midnight. The time of judgment has come. Sins once forgotten return to sink the soul, for the day of darkness has come at last. The light is swallowed by growing shadow, and demons boil up from the earth. Those who remain moan and dread with their last breaths. Uh, I can't say that. Uh, for the dead rise from the grave, bringing judgment to the world with brimstone and flame. Now it is time to beg for deliverance. Do not allow darkness in your soul. Darkness is ruin and destruction and the judgment of the wicked eternal. And there's our day of darkness. It is so. This is what everyone's afraid of? Dead people? Yes. Look, even if the dead came back somehow, how hard could it be to kill them again? They didn't do so well the last time around. But what if that really did happen? It would be terrible. Not going to happen. Alright, Rito, you disbeliever! Blasphemy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I don't know why, but they have in this town three different versions of the same story over and over again. It's like, holy crap, is that all you care about? Alright, let's hang out here. I heard that dinner is ready. It will be ready very soon. Please wait. Alright, maybe they'll poison us and we'll die. Just kidding. Oh, it's Oro. What good is it to chase after fancy now that the threat of darkness is upon us? No one has ever found the divine sword. How can he be so nonchalant about matters of such weight? I must consult with auguries for some means of holding back the darkness. Oh? Huh? This... Is an evil sign. They've the day of darkness draws near. W what? Look, a red light, guy. This light. Yeah, red light from the moon of Valmar, guys. Ah, look who's here. <laughs> what was that animation? Ah, the, the wings of Valmar. Valmar here in the cathedral. Someone, someone come quickly. Truly, bread is the body's life as the earth is to all that spring from it. So also, fine bread is loam for the soul. Well, this is this bread is delicious. Mr. Ito, are you going to eat? Roan, Merrick, I'm going to look for that damn sword. Okay. I thought you I thought you would say that the sword is uh, the sword interests me for I have not before heard of its like You two coming along it was ever more my intent please let me come along too I could use your help I appreciate it If if it is as his holiness Sarah, Sarah says this has meaning for me too What do you mean Well you see Oh there was some there was some backstory we're getting interrupted damn it not again we're eating please excuse me i'm told that valmar has taken human form and entered the cathedral have you seen any suspicious persons huh no no one has been here please excuse the interruption i must go must be millennia what the hell is she thinking all right guys millennia is out and about I think I'm gonna end the episode here because I didn't want to. I don't want to start anything else. But yeah, so we get a little bit. You know, we we get we meet we met. Um, you know, we have been to the cathedral. We met uh, His Holiness Zara. We kind of figure. So you guys can kind of imagine where our story is going here. We're gonna be looking for the Grana Saber. That's gonna be the next stuff that's coming up. Uh, and no one knows where it is. It's with the Legion of Darkness, okay? And that's very interesting, right? We don't know really who they are. They seem to be followers of Valmar. Um, so they must be like demon people or something, I would, I, I could imagine, right? Uh, and yeah, and uh, Millennia's out and about. She's hanging out and we don't really know why or what, what she is thinking. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I'm Morali. I do stream over on Twitch if you guys want to follow me uh, in, uh, over there. And if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, I would really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye, guys.